I just got back and uh, got the camper unhooked and uh, I'm gonna do a video on this truck I'm now I'm really not wanting to sell it I bought it to keep um, it actually came out of Mississippi and uh, it's a 1989 7.3 liter diesel crew cab 5-speed it's the first year of the 7.3 and it's a uh, IDI which is indirect injection diesel that means it has no computers on it it has an it does not have an electric fuel pump it has the mechanical fuel pump on the side of the block you know like the old Chevy Camaros and Ford Mustangs from back in the the 70s and 80s had so I mean everything on it is super cheap and easy to work on um, even the even the fuel injection is mechanical injectors and uh, it's it's just a great truck and coming out of Mississippi it doesn't have any rust on it um, I uh, drove down close to Athens Ohio to pick it up um, the the um, the guy that was uh, selling it when I found it he had bought it out of Mississippi and he bought it uh, back last December and um, was uh, using it to tow his camper this past summer and um, I, I jumped all over when I saw it anyway uh, let me kind of go over it here it's uh, I mean like I said it's got no rust on it it drives absolutely perfect uh, paint looks good on it there's um, it's not scratched up no dents the fiberglass over the rear um, fender flares is all good it's not cracked or anything like that the brakes and suspension are great the interior is exceptionally clean well, and it's locked I'll have to uh, go around and open it up from the other side but uh, it's the original interior and it's like a conversion van unlock this thing it's got the CB up here in the indirect lighting like a, a conversion van um, it's really neat um, dual fuel tanks it's got two 19 gallon tanks that's a total of 38 gallons of diesel fuel and both tanks are almost completely full right now um, I've actually I filled them both up and I've put 51 miles on it since then towing the camper so uh, they're probably not not down very much uh, that's a lot of diesel fuel <laughs> it's got power windows and stuff and it's just incredibly clean like I said headliners in good shape everything's in good shape it's in exceptional shape um, there's no rust on the uh, cad corners and rocker panels it's all clean it's the original metal carpets nice there's no nowhere on the carpets a little bit of color fading on the seat from age but the fabric is not worn or snagged or uh, no rips in it anywhere it's, it's amazing anyway let me run over this I got kind of a list of stuff so I didn't forget um, it's got 116,000 miles on it and uh, the four rear tires on the back here they were put on over a year ago just before the other guy got them and they are still in excellent shape I mean it's knee-deep in rubber back here those things um, are, are they don't look like they're far from new the front tires are new they're three months old and you can tell that they're brand new they practically still have the hairs on them but those are Mastercraft there and uh, those things were um, right at uh, four four hundred and something dollars after installation um, also uh, see so those were put on three months ago oh yeah it had new radius arm bushings put on it that was uh, the guy had that done uh, you should be able to see them right down in there I took close-up pictures of them and um, that's kind of a big deal to have those done because that's something that most people ignore and it's got a Reese class 5 hitch receiver which is uh, it's the Titan edition it's more heavy-duty than what you typically get on a uh, one-ton truck it's got the wiring and everything there for the trailer brake controller that's in the truck I gotta say I love that I love the Longhorn mud flaps and uh, <laughs> of course I like that too that's steel it's got integrated lights and signals and everything everything works on it and that is not a cheap one that is real steel it's not aluminum or something that's not strong and uh, I, I just I just went ape over this I don't know why but it's a cowboy hat like in a rodeo where the guy's holding the cowboy hat up in the air while he's riding the Bronco I guess I just can't uh, talk good enough about this truck um, anyway it was used in the past to tow a fifth wheel camper so it's got wiring in place over here uh, for a fifth wheel trailer as well and you can see where the fifth wheel hitch used to be right there 
I actually use these spacers here because I got a slide in camper also. And uh, with these two by sixes, it lifts up my slide in camper enough to clear that. So it goes right over the top of that and does not interfere with uh, the camper because I'm, you know, I don't want to damage my other camper either. But uh, this, the, you can do anything with this truck. Um, now underneath it, it's, it's uh, surprisingly clean. If you climb under there with a flashlight, I took a few pictures, but you can still see the original factory paint. Um, I should mention that the uh, fuel gauge does not work for the front tank. When you flip it to the front tank and use it, uh, it goes down to empty. The rear tank fuel gauge does work, but uh, honestly, I just drive it about 250 miles after a fill up and then I'll switch to the rear tank until that gets close to empty. That way I never get close on that uh, front tank. Um, I really, I think that's about it. It's got stainless steel running boards. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, it's got a, a new dual exhaust on it. it. It is a true dual exhaust all the way back. And uh, that was done, I, I took notes every, on everything the guy told me, in June, June of 2016, this year. And of course it's still like new. You can look at it until it's brand new. It goes into a Flowmaster muffler with dual tailpipes coming out of the muffler. And that's why it sounds as good as it does in the video um, that I just did pulling the camper. So I'm gonna hop in and take it for a drive uh, with no camper hooked up. Just let you hear it and see it perform. It's funny because this is one of those things where I might just change my mind and keep it. <laughs> but uh, as of right now, I'm, I'm thinking I'm ready to sell it. I bought it because I've been listening to a, guy, a lot of guys at church talk about uh, EMPs. And one of the guys, he's... Uh, he was in charge of a, uh, a nuclear missile, a uh, series of nuclear missile silos when he was in the Air Force, and he was a security chief, and he was telling me about that, and he said that is actually a very likely thing. Um, so solar flares, EMPs, things that could potentially disable uh, all these cars out here that run with computers, um, this thing will run. I, I, actually, uh, I actually did a few modifications uh, after I saw them on YouTube. Uh, to the electrical system to isolate it from the frame so the frame would act like a uh, modified Faraday cage. Uh, so really this thing's pretty well protected and honestly it would run when nothing else would. I'm, I'm about to talk myself out of selling it. I'm just going to shut up and drive it. Oh, and I wasn't thinking. I was skipping gears. Let me slow back down. I'm going to go through each gear. Um, I'll start off in second and just go second, fourth, fifth when I'm not towing something without even thinking about it. That way you don't have to shift so much. One, two, this is third, fourth, Like I said, these 7.3 diesels, they are bulletproof from the word go, but this is old school all the way, and if something bad ever happens, this thing will run when nothing else will run. And it drives totally straight and smooth and quiet. Fairly quiet, it does have kind of that hot rod exhaust on it. Well, somebody pulled out in front of me here, so uh, I guess that's about it. Come see it if you're serious about it. I'm not going to mess around. I'm listing it for sale, and I think it's worth more than what I'm asking for. But um, it's a low-mileage, rust-free Mississippi truck. It's got the inspection sticker still in the windshield from the end of 2012, and it came to southern Ohio in 2013. So it, it has not yet been driven in snow. It has never been driven in snow. And it is clean. And it drives great. Oh gosh, I'm just going to shut up. Come see the truck. Thanks. And uh, uh, continue watching to see me pulling the camper. I'm going to do a, hook the two videos together. Thanks. Bye. I wanted to do a quick video since I was coming back from Hilliard with my camper. Um, just to show how this thing does tow. 
Um, I took it up to the truck wash because it got real dirty out there at the campsite under the trees. And um, this thing just hauls this camp around smooth, straight, doesn't make a big deal out of it. Um, I'm going to take it down the road and just shift it through the gears, showing off um, how it handles. The camper is fully loaded right now, so I'm towing about 8,800 pounds. But uh, let's hop in this thing and uh, take it down the street. I should have done this on the freeway, but anyway, whatever. I love how these one-ton trucks like this with these diesels, they, they'll tow this stuff and not even make a big deal out of it. I'm not even starting off right now in the granny gear. I'm just pulling on out. I'm surprised there's that much traffic down, down here today. Ah, now a red light. Well, anyway, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to finish up the video, uh, do a walk around on this truck and, uh, hook it all together. So we got a nice presentation. This thing, it's an awesome truck. So, um, I'm going to, I'll stop this video now and I'll hook it to the one I make here in a few minutes after I unhook the camper. Oh, green light again. Might as well keep driving, huh? Yeah, I'm going to go unhook this camper and uh, I'll continue this video in a minute.